Hello, I'm Lawrence Garvin, SolarWinds Product Manager, and I specialize in patch management and Windows Server update services. Do you have clients that don't appear in your WSS console and you don't know why? Tracking down the reasons why can be a time-consuming and frustrating process. You may have to read through lines of file entries to find out if the client tried to connect, and then you may have to decipher the error codes provided. It might be easier to just have a tool that says, hey dude, you used a semicolon in your URL instead of a colon. The free SolarWinds Diagnostic Tool for the WSS Agent can help you validate client configurations and troubleshoot client connection issues in your WSS environment. It also identifies the appropriate repairs immediately, based on real-world experiences of other WSS administrators, like myself, who have been where you are. The diagnostic tool validates the machine state and Windows Update Agent configuration values. It attempts a connection to the configured WSS server, providing user-friendly feedback on the results of that connection attempt. If you want to follow along, download this free tool now from the link below. Let's take a closer look. This free tool has a very simple installer. The graphical instance of the tool is automatically launched and an initial analysis executed upon completion of the installation. By clicking on the Start Diagnostic button, you can perform subsequent analyses. In the Machine State section, the tool verifies that the required services are running and reports the OS version and Windows Update Agent version. If the Windows Update Agent version is not at the recommended level for the operating system, a message will be displayed. For example, this Windows 7 RTM system is running the version 7.3 agent and needs to be upgraded to the latest agent. In the Windows Update Agent Configuration settings, the tool scans the key configuration values and provides plain language descriptions of those settings. It identifies any known problems with the current configuration. One common issue is that the client is not configured to use WSS, as we see in this example. To get detailed instructions on configuring a system to be a WSS client, use the link at the top of the screen. This will take you to the WSS deployment guide. Another thing that happens is using UNC path names, simple host names, or backslashes in the URL, and the Windows Update agent isn't going to tell you these things. It only provides an error code in the log file that you need to go research. This tool will actually tell you that the URL is not valid, and in some cases, what the actual correction should be. Usually, connection failures get logged with error codes, sometimes even multiple error codes. Then the question becomes, which ones matter? Which code is the primary error? Which are secondary errors? Researching the wrong error code is going to waste your time. Using this tool, you can eliminate the need to research error codes. For example, here we see that the configured URL is encountering a name resolution failure described in easy to read and comprehensible language. But in addition, the tool also provides a description of the most common causes. In this example, an invalid host name in the URL, a missing entry in DNS, or a misconfigured or unavailable DNS server. The free SolarWinds diagnostic tool for the WSS agent provides you with a quick and easy way to run configurations and perform sanity checks on a Windows Update agent on 32 or 64-bit systems. If you need even more control patching third-party applications, SolarWinds has another easy-to-use tool called SolarWinds Patch Manager. It helps you have power over the patch management process with dynamic patch management, immediate updates, scheduled reboots, easy reporting, and full asset inventory.